one of the most popular productivity applications based on note management. Evernote has been losing users every month, either because the free version has become very limited, or because the paid version has become more expensive, or because they believe that the app has lost its way. The truth is that a lot are migrating from app, or are looking for a replacement. So in today's video, I will present some alternatives to Evernote, which have free versions too. Let's start with the most obvious. Microsoft's OneNote has become the path of many users who are leaving Evernote. Its interface is very reminiscent of the classic Evernote, with its structure based on folders, subfolders and tags. It is possible to attach files, photos, take notes by hand, create formatted texts, has the OneNote clipper to easily embed pages from the app, has versions for Android, iOS, for tablets, has a web version, which makes it possible to use Linux users, and the application is already installed on any computer with Windows 10 or 11. That is, it is widely available. If you want a migration without scares and with a low need for learning, that has full integration with Microsoft apps and is 100% free, go without fear, OneNote is a natural substitute for Evernote. Another natural substitute, but for Apple users, is Apple Notes. The Cupertino giant has perfected the application over the years. It is also based on folders, subfolders and tags, has a powerful search system. It is possible to create formatted notes, insert tables, draw and write by hand with Apple Pencil. It is possible to attach photos, videos, PDFs, that is, very powerful, in addition to being fully inserted in the Apple ecosystem, being excellent on Mac, iPad and iPhone, in addition to being free. Now, if you are not in the Apple ecosystem, it is not an option for you. Now, if you want to get out of this more obvious replacement, and want to try something new, and equally powerful, I suggest Amplinote, which would be not only a note management app, but a productivity hub, because it has an efficient task manager, very similar to Todoist, a calendar, which synchronizes with external calendars, with full integration with the task manager and the note manager. In addition to the note manager, which has tag categorization, you can create formatted texts, attach videos, PDFs, photos, and other file formats. It also has a powerful search. Another great feature is the easy import of Evernote notes, and the support for collaborative work. Amplinote has versions for Android and iOS, as well as a web version and extensions for Chrome and Firefox, and it is possible to incorporate several plugins that further increase the features of the application. Amplinote has a free, very complete version, and if you want more features, its premium plans start at $5.84 per month. In the same line as Amplinote, we have Upnote, which has versions for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android and iOS, and has a more cheerful look, seeking to customize the covers of the notes, but which follows the same line of categorization by folders, subfolders and tags. You can insert images, PDFs, embed videos, create formatted texts, and have a simple management of tasks. Upnote has a free version, with some limitations, and a premium version for $1.99 per month. But if you want to change the paradigms, a great option is Notion, which instead of being a note manager, works as a database manager. That is, you can create notes, tables, lists. That is, you have total freedom to set up your own productivity system. Customizing to the extreme, where you can do everything in your own way, or you can use thousands of available templates. I myself as Notion Ambassador have already developed several templates. I will leave the link of my templates in the description. The great advantage of Notion is the possibility of customization, integration with other apps. That is, it is as if you could create your own application without knowing programming. Notion is 100% free. You can use practically all your features without paying anything. And it also has a very complete calendar app that integrates with Google Calendar. It is very worth knowing. Now, if your need is more advanced or you want more artificial intelligence features, Notion has premium versions that start at $10 per month. I'll leave the link in the description. Notion has a version for Windows, Mac, Android and iOS, as well as a web version. And finishing our list, we have Obsidian, which is also free and would be an evolution of Evernote. With some features of Notion, Obsidian also has a focus on notes, which can be formatted in Markdown, 
you can attach photos, files, link videos, but you also have the freedom to assemble your structure, mixing links and tags, assembling a kind of neural chain, in addition to having hundreds of plugins that allow you to also work with a database, as in Notion. Obsidian's learning curve is a little longer, but if you want something more customized, but do not want to follow the database-based Notion path, Obsidian may be for you. The cool thing about Obsidian is that it is 100% free and has a version for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android and iOS, and works 100% offline. All files and notes stay on your device, which becomes highly secure. If you care about backups and privacy, to synchronize Obsidian on your devices, you will need third-party plugins, or subscribe to Obsidian's premium service for $4 per month. But which one is the best? There is no winner, everyone is excellent and can replace Evernote, everything will depend on what you want. If something is the same or more evolved than Evernote, or if you want the focus on customization and databases, such as in Notion or Obsidian, enjoy. Everyone has a much more complete free version than the free version of Evernote. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.